Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Just want to thank one of our sponsors, Reach.me. Reach.me is a platform for fans to communicate with their favorite influencers, celebrities, and entrepreneurs. Influencers set a price per video response. Fans enter their question and credit card. Influencers respond with a custom-made video response. You only pay when you get a response. So go to reach.me forward slash simple programmer to ask me a question or sign up for yourself at reach.me. So I got a question, or rather just an email that's a, a bit of a concern email. It's titled, I'm worried, and this is from Pavel. Pavel, and he says, hi, mankind wants to destroy itself with AI. Developers want to, uh, want to wipe themselves off the job market, and he pointed me to this site. Let me see, it's called like uizard.io. UIZER.io, and he says, uh, how to survive in this future? I ha want to have a software company, but I'm afraid that things like this will destroy my plans. So I've got a couple of things to say on this. So I looked at this, this site, I don't really want to promote the site because I have no idea if it's good, but essentially this technology that he's, he's pointing at, what they do is they, they take a screenshot of a user interface and they produce working code from it. Now, obviously there's some limits to what can be done, but I'm guessing that they can produce the scaffolding, they can make an iOS or Android buttons and, and put all the scaffolding and you still have to hook it up and, and put the logic behind it. But it's an interesting idea and just the concept, just the idea that, that you know, AI is improving things and making it so that there's less code that you have to write as a software developer. So. That's interesting, okay, but I want to talk about a bigger idea, a bigger concept here that is important, not just in computer science, not just in the software development world, but in general, which is this, this, this idea that of trying to stop progress or being afraid of progress, right? I've got a, a partner in, in Simple Programmer, uh, Josh, you, you've heard me talk about him a lot. He, he writes a lot of the emails. If you guys are on my email list, uh, you know, check out his emails. They're interesting stories. He's just like an awesome copywriter. But we have this conversation conversation fairly often where where he's worried about shit changing, right? He's worried that what would happen if if Slack took over and people stopped using email, right? Or, you know, because people predict that all the time, it, it's not gonna happen. But let's say that it did, right? He's worried, he's like, oh, then we wouldn't be able to make any money. We, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Like we wouldn't be able to market anything. We wouldn't be able to sell anything, right? And so, you know, we're, we're, he's always on that side of it, or, or for the most part. And I'm always on the other side of like, you know what? If that happens, that happens to everyone. We're all in the same boat. We'll just innovate. We'll just figure out what is the next messaging platform or what is the next place, and we'll move there, and, and life will go on, right? People will still sell things, right? You know, technology changes, but we can't be angry and be like, oh, man, Google's doing this to us, or, you know, the Facebook ads are getting expensive, or whatever it is, and, you know, in, in being worried about these technology changes and the way that things are advancing and and really trying to protect our turf because that's where you get stuck that's where you have problems right you know the the old assembly line workers if they tried to if they tried to stop the the automation stop having machines you know create uh, a lot of the products today uh, they, they 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 did in fact right they through, they did strikes, they protested, you know, they, the, they were afraid of losing their jobs, but ultimately they did lose their jobs, right? And ultimately they will lose their jobs and more people will lose their jobs. And it's not that they'll lose the jobs, it's just that the job market changes, it's that you cannot fight innovation, you cannot fight technology. It's what, what you wanna do is you wanna get on the right side of that, which means that you gotta look and you gotta adapt, right? Adaptability is a very, very key skill. So. So let me tie this back into a little bit into software development, right? Because I think this is, is really important, especially with AI and everyone being afraid of this. AI, to some degree, is going to come, right? I've done some videos on AI in the past. You can check them out here. I think I did some, I did another video on will, will AI destroy the future for software developers, but I thought I'd talk about this again because this is, I, I constantly get this, right? People are afraid of this and, and with good reason, but, but here's the thing, right? So in software development, 
is AI going to improve, right? Yes. Do we know which direction it's going to improve? What it's actually going to look like? No, and we don't know how far that's out. But, but here's the thing, there's always gonna be a need for some kind of skill set related to software development, right? Just like the, the factory worker who was on the assembly line, they had a particular skill set, right? That skill set may have disappeared, right? It may, may have become less valuable as machines could do that, but then something else opened. So now there were people that needed to operate those machines or make more of those machines or program those machines, right? New things open up when old things pass away. But the key is to be on the, the innovative side of that. Too. And this is just you know general as a person, right? If I, if I could talk to you as a person, you need to be the adaptable person, right? Be the, I always talk about embracing the stoic mindset. Why? Because the stoic mindset basically says this, you know, whatever, whatever you throw at me, fate, I'm just going to deal with. I'm going to fucking just whatever you give me, I am dealing with it, right? I'm not gonna try and fight it. I'm not gonna try and say, oh, I wish it was a different way. I'm not gonna lament that things, things are not the way I want them to be. I'm just gonna take the, I'm gonna roll with the punches. Whatever you give me, I'm going with that. That's the adaptable mindset that you have to have. Now, as a software developer or whatever career field that you, you may happen to be in, I know that a lot of you aren't software developers that watch this channel now, you think about that, right? Don't be afraid of AI, right? AI is going to come. Right now, you, you, gotta, you gotta bet on whatever makes sense right now. So if you're a software developer now and you, you, you wanna get a job as a software developer, learn to code. Learn to do what, what works now, what sells now, what is in the job market now, but just have your eyes open. Have your eyes open, have your ears open, be ready to change, be ready to adapt. When you see the writing on the wall, be ready to jump into that. If you, you know, we're, we're not at the point where AI is, is gonna take over software development and, and, and like, like Pavel said that, uh, Pavel said that, uh, you know, developers want to wipe themselves off the job market. That's not gonna happen, right? It, at least not right now. So, but when it does happen, there'll be, there'll be some writing on the wall. You'll know it. And, and what your job will be is to adapt. Just like I'm always telling Josh, you know, don't worry about this, dude, right? If email disappears, we will figure something else out. There will, everyone else will be in the same boat. And that's the thing to remember here is that there's a lot of software developers, right? There's a lot of people involved in the software development industry if AI essentially makes it so that the way that we understand and do software development today is not necessary, right? If, if AI makes the kind of developers that write the, the manual kind of code that we do today, if it, if it makes them irrelevant, right? Just like on the assembly line, the machines, a lot of the machines made, you know, doing hand assembly irrelevant, N not, not in all cases, but in, in a lot of cases, if that happens, there will be something else. There will be a higher level that we'll work at, right? I mean, back in the day, just in the computer science field, right, there was assembly language, okay? There were a lot of developers hand-coded assembly language, but then higher level languages came onto the scene. And so you could say, oh, whoa, wow, they, these, these assembly programmers that started making these compilers for higher level languages, they were wiping themselves off of the job market. You could, you could say that, or you could say, wait a minute, they created an, a higher level abstraction, they created another opportunity, a, a way to be more efficient for us to work more efficiently, and you had an opportunity there if you learned those higher level languages. So the same thing will always happen. You're never going to have situations in, in the world or in your life where, where something disappears and there's not something to replace it. There's always a higher level, right? You cannot stop innovation. So my, my summary would be this, don't worry about AI. I mean, worry about if AI is gonna wipe human beings off the planet. That's what I would worry about, right? Get in with Elon Musk, he's worried about that shit. That's what you should worry about. But as far as getting rid of your job, don't worry about that. Everyone is gonna be in the same boat and there's always gonna be an opportunity and you're gonna to have to innovate, right? If you look at the marketing space, I'll say this one more time, right? Television used to be the place where you ran ads, right? You, you did marketing on television or you did it on radio. That's changed, it used to be print, all right? And then, and now it's the internet. And then and when it was the internet, we used to do clicks on, on web pages, do banner ads. That doesn't work anymore. Now it's Facebook, right? It's gonna keep on moving and you gotta, you gotta stay ahead of that and you gotta go where it's at. So if you, the only way that you're in trouble, okay, here with AI is if you're set in your ways, if you're like, I am going to stick it out, I'm gonna be a COBOL programmer till I die. You can watch the video I did on COBOL programming and, and you're not willing to change and adapt. If you're there, then hey, then, then, then yeah, then you're fragile, right? Okay, so another book too I'll, I'll give you 
that, that really hits this co concept home. If you're liking what I'm saying here, is this book called Anti-Fragile. I've done, I think I've done some reviews on it. Maybe this will be a, a review link, or, or but but check that book out. Really good book oh, by one of my favorite authors, authors. My favorite authors. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thanks, Pavel, for the question. Pavel, Pavel, I, you know what, I, I, I'm thinking it's, it should be Pavel, right? Yeah, that makes sense. It's probably, probably a Russian name. All right, thanks, Pavel. Pavel. <laughs> All right, that's it. If you like this video, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will talk to you next time. Take care.